Pastor Zillinger's Daily Devotions. The psalm for today, Psalm 118, verses 1 through 9. O give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, his steadfast love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, his steadfast love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his steadfast love endures forever. Out of my distress I called on the Lord. The Lord answered me and set me free. The Lord is on my side, I will not fear. What can man do to me? The Lord is on my side as my helper. I shall look in triumph on those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. So if there are a few things, is uh, this is a liturgical psalm or a psalm that is sung uh, or sung back and forth with things. There's a stanza, I'll give thanks unto the Lord for his steadfast love endures forever. They have that repetition, and then there's kind of the meat of the psalm, and then that repetition again. And the steadfast love is um, kind of covenantal love, or because he said so, he will do it. That's what steadfast means with this, is that um, he sees it through. Um, he said it, he's done it, he will do it again because he said it and he's done it and he'll do it again, that kind of thing. It's his nature, his steadfast love endures forever with this. And how we give thanks, uh, how Israel gives thanks, uh, the priests or the people who are attending the temple, they give thanks. Um, all the people who fear the Lord, that maybe this, who are outside or not yet in the flock, who are being converted by the Holy Spirit, God's word. Um, then talking about some things, uh, why we would call upon the Lord and know that his steadfast love endures forever. His history of loving us is continuous for the present and for tomorrow. And I think that's important because so oftentimes when we are in distress, when we're in pain, uh, when we're confused, when we uh, have difficulties, we go, well, where is God? Doesn't he love me? And then you have to look back and go, oh yeah, he loved me in the past. His steadfast love was then. Um, he has told us his steadfast love is with us today and tomorrow and in the future. And I'll bank on his word and his character and his promises uh, from the past, pushing me forward today and beyond. Um, he's on our side. We will not fear. Uh, he's my helper. Um, I like it. I shall look triumph on those who hate me. Um, for those who scorn me or go against me, um, that my victory is in Christ. My victory is in God. My victory is in the Lord. Um, it's better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man or to trust in princes. I think this is important, especially in a political year, that oftentimes we think our government will take care of us. And then somebody will say, well, the government would lie to us. I'm like, well, yeah, because they're man and they're princes. We can't trust them totally. Now, there are some good people in government. There are some good presidents. There are some good representatives and leaders. Uh, there are also sinful men and sinful women in government. And sometimes they're willfully sinful. And so I took a look at this and say, my refuge is in God. I trust in what he says and what he does. I will um, live this way, and then I will apply it to my politics, to my country, to my land. Uh, this, this nation of Israel had to do the same thing. They had some terrible kings and terrible politics. And it was trust in God's word, trust in what he does. Don't worry about the others around you. God will be steadfast. God will love you. The Lord bless your day as well as your week.